From Berkeley to the South Bay, Bay Area police came together with the public to build bridges and trust during National Night Out. KPI X5's Katie Nielsen attended one block party at the Lucky 37 restaurant in Oakland where gun violence just hit especially close to home. Hey, thank you guys for coming here for June. All the love. Mark Legospi was June Anobo's cousin and business partner at Lucky 37 restaurant on Fruitvale in Oakland. June was shot and killed on the sidewalk of the family restaurant on May 18th in front of his 11 year old son. He was the leader, he was a pillar of this community, pillar of Oakland. Like, he's a legend in Oakland. Now a mural of June looks down on the restaurant and the block party for National Night Out, an event he and his cousin planned together every year since 2013. I got to keep doing and spread the message that we keep going here, spread the love, get the community out of here. Council member Noel Gallo, who represents the district, says the Filipino street food restaurant has been a community gathering place for years. And the solution to the issues with crime starts with neighbors meeting neighbors. Right now, the violence, the robberies, the shootings, and certainly this brings out a community to get a chance to meet each other, and hopefully together, unified, we can change the behavior in our streets. Today is the start of saying that we're going to all step up to make Oakland a safer city. Oakland's police chief, Leron Armstrong, echoed Gallo's message. Well, I've emphasized over and over how important it is that we have the community support, that we work together, that we work in partnership, and tonight highlights that. People who live nearby say this was a chance not only to remember June, but also to support the neighborhood. I was like, all right, let me show up, support, grab some food, have fun. Seeing the community together, I think that's like what's most important, is like coming out and just supporting. In Oakland, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5. And so far, Oakland police have not made any arrest in June's murder.